three, two, one. For this first hand, I'm gonna put up multiple choice hands for you to choose from. Let's see if you can play it better than I did. In this one, under the gun, limps. She's one of the cool kids. Under the gun one, also limps. I'm in the under the gun two spot or the low jack. I make it $30 to go. And just the cool kid under the gun makes the call. So heads up, flop comes down 10, nine, five, two diamonds at a heart. So we flop top pair, backdoor flush draw. I see bet this one for $35 and she makes the call. The turn is a five of diamonds. So flush comes in and when she checks, I check this one back. The river is the five of clubs. So now that we've made a boat on the river, she leads right out for $60, a little less than half of the pot. So I just have to decide if I wanna raise for value in this spot. If she has something like Miss Straight Draws, she's just gonna be folding those. If she has a 10, we'll just be chopping. So I'm just looking to get value from a hand like a nine. And I think she has enough of those that maybe I could squeeze out a little raise. Maybe I could just min raise and get called by that. So I just flick in the call. If you chose B, five, four of spades in this hand for my opponent, you are the winner. Aww. Just quads? Yeah. What was it, 60? Oh, 60. Yes. Nice hand, nice hand. She did in fact a limp call with 5-4 suited pre-flop and runner runner made quads. So off to a stellar start in this first 2-5 cash game in months. All right, if you guessed wrong in that last one, let's try another mystery hand. This is a four-way limped pot. I have queen seven suited in the big blind. The flop comes out queen six deuce, two hearts and a club. Check it all the way around to the cutoff who bets $15 into 20. He has not been super active post flops. So this already is raising some red flags, but I have top pair. So I throw in the call. Hijack also comes along. He's been really active, so I was not surprised to see him call behind. Turn is the nine of clubs. Everyone checks. The dealer puts out a seven of diamonds on the river now. So we make two pair on the end. Feeling great about this hand. So I lead $40 into 65. Just hoping to squeeze out some value from a check back queen jack or queen 10, something like that. Hijack folds and the cutoff, who I said was kind of passive, min raises to $80. Great, 80. Even though we have two pair, I don't think a three bet is in order because I think I'm just going to value own myself. So I toss in the call. Drum roll please on this answer. Nice My opponent had C, queen nine of hearts, wrecked. So he slowed down on the turn when he made two pair and then he got me, he got me with the river raise. And with that, I've learned that my table is located at the beautiful heart of Limp City on the corner of Slow Play Avenue and only raises with the nuts way. The mayor of Limp City now raises to $15 in the hijack, turning everyone's heads. I don't know, maybe he's just going through a midlife crisis. Cutoff calls and I'm in the small blind with ace jack offsuit. In any other town, I am raising this. I'm three betting this, but here I was just playing it cautious and put in a call. Still think I should three bet, but here we are. The flop comes down, ace, nine, eight, rainbow. Check it over to the mayor. He checks, cool chick on the cutoff, checks back. The turn is a six of hearts. I check it over to him. He checks, cool chick puts out $35 into 49. I'm not going anywhere, I've got top pair, I call. Back over to the mayor who snaps out of it, returns that brand new Corvette and folds his hand. The river is a deuce of diamonds. I check it over to the cutoff, she snap checks back. When I flip over my hand, it is good. And with that, my friends, we have won our first pot at this table. Round of applause. <laughs> Only down 150 now. Granny is all the way back up to even, so we've got a lot more work to do if we're gonna come out on top. I pick up the second best hand in poker, two people join me in the pot, and I'm already imagining stacking someone and getting way ahead in this race against Gran. But the dreaded ace hits the flop. We have the king of clubs back up. It checks all the way around in the flop. 
Same thing happens on the turn. On the river, when the small blind checks again, I think I could get value if I bet small enough out of a 10, perhaps. So I bet $15. After both opponents fold, I find out Gran is also down $100. So this race is getting tight and all you Granny fans need to give her your run good. It's time for another multiple choice mystery hand. In this one, I open Jack Eight of Hearts in the low jack, hijack calls, cutoff calls. So we're three ways to queen eight for rainbow on the flop. Three ways out of position, I'm gonna be checking a lot. So when I flop middle pair, I check, hijack checks, cutoff bets $15. I toss in the chips, hijack folds. So we're heads up to the three of diamonds on the turn. I check once again. This time cutoff bets $30 into 82. Too small to get me out of there. So I make the call and the river brings a queen of hearts. That's a pretty good card for me because it's less likely that he has a queen. But at this table in particular, it's also unlikely that somebody is triple bear bluffing. So when he bets $55 on this river, I have to consider that maybe I'm beat. Lock in your answer now. What do you think he's got? I'll give you a second. All right, I made the call because I just thought it was too small of a bet for me to fold middle pair. And if you chose A, king four of hearts, you would be correct. That is what my opponent had. He just tripled off. And now it feels like this game is out of the muck and I win a juicy pot. I'm coming for you, Gran. Queen Jack offsuit in the cutoff. That deserves a raise. So I put it in $15 worth of chips. Both blinds come along and on ace, king, six, two diamonds and a spade. Small blind just leads into the two of us for $30. Big blind folds. I have a gut shot and a healthy dose of curiosity about what the heck this guy is leading into me on this board. So I toss in the call. Turn is another ace, this time bringing a second flush draw. He leads again, a little smaller this time. He only goes 35 into 105. But at this point, I'm only excited about two river cards. So I toss my hand in the muck and guys, you will never guess what he has. Two pairs? What? That's a lot of pairs. <laughs> Welcome to the machine. Three hours into this session now, under the gun limps yet again. I'm on the button with pocket 10, so I'm gonna raise it up. I put in $30. Big blind comes along. He's the one that had king four. He's the one that had a six. So we are getting to know his style of play really well. Under the gun also tosses in 25 bucks. So hoping for a miracle and the flop comes out. Queen, 10, deuce, two hearts, flopping middle set. Maybe this is our moment. I see bet on the larger side for a three-way pot just to charge all of those draws. Both of them come along. So if you happen to pick me over Gran in this race, I hope you're getting excited. The turn is the ace of spades. Two flush draws now, King Jack gets there. When they both check it over to me, I'm still going for value obviously, so I toss in $140. Big blind is the only one who makes the call, so heads up, the dealer puts out, boom, the five of diamonds on the river. Both flush draws miss, he checks it over to me. I only have around $500 remaining in my stack, so I really wanna target two pairs or a really stubborn ace of hearts type of hand. So I put out two $200. My opponent doesn't look too happy, but he does pay it off. I flip over my head. It is good. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys look at this giant pot getting shipped my way. All of a sudden, I am way ahead in this race against Gran. All right, just taking a quick break. Up about a little over $400 right now. How about you, Gran? How's the competition looking? I've spent $400, but I've made a bunch back. <laughs> So I get a ton of playable hands after that, but each turns out to be a huge swing and a miss. So I'm gonna go check in on Gran, see how she's doing. I try to scrape together one last big pot before we head out of here. There is a straddle on in this one. Under the gun calls, 
I make it $50 to go with 10.9 suited, beautiful suited connector, and I want to get this pot heads up. But the straddle comes along and the under the gun player puts in the call as well. So we're three ways dealer fans out queen nine six rainbow as the flop checks to me. I'm going to check this one back flopping middle pair against the early position limper and the straddler that cold called. The turn is the ace of clubs and the straddler now leads out $50. When under the gun makes the call, I know that my third pair is no good. So I fold and let the two of them battle it out. That was a fun, quick little session back in the cash streets. I was in for 700, out for 1,035. So we won a little bit, we won 335 on the night. So what did we buy in for, Grant? I think it was five. And we cashed out for? 625. Nice! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> It was well fought, Grand, but I am officially the winner of tonight's profit loss game. If you guys were rooting for Granny, I don't blame you. And at least you did win, and we both end on a happy note tonight. <laughs> That's a wrap on the night. It was fun to play cash. I get it. I get why you guys love it. I'm out of here. See you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>